So you can see that all that pizza's made me fat, bro. All that pizza's made me hell fat. Getting fat from all the carbohydrates. Today's video brought to you by McShit. And we have the question of like, oh my God, you're supporting a fast food giant, Domino's Australia. Well, here's the thing is that there's so many hypocrites out there. And they're using their Apple phones, they're typing that on, oh my God, you use corporate stuff, I'm typing on my Apple phone, or they're using their LG, or they're using their fucking smartphone, or was it, what was that one called? The Eco phone, or the, the nice phone, or whatever it was, but it was still sourced from the same mines that Apple and everyone else gets their fucking heavy metals from, etc. So there's, this is the world we live in, man. There's no, there's better options, but there's no perfect option. And so I would like to entertain the fact that we can create corporate veganism as a mainstream, and we're only going to do that with the voting of our dollar. Every dollar we spend is a vote for what we believe in. So when you walk into Domino's with your mates and you sit there cross, cross armed and go, I'm a vegan, I'm dancing in here because this is like corporate food. Then your friends go, to, oh wow, great, veganism. Wow, it's restrictive enough. Let's make it more restrictive and not fucking eat pizza ever. Everyone loves fucking pizza. Everyone loves pizza. Don't they? I love pizza. You love pizza. Everyone fucking loves pizza. And a lot of people give me some pizza hate. They're pizza shamers, but they secretly love a bit of deep pan vegan pizza. Well, they want some. Um, so I would say it's great that we can get corporate on board. Wouldn't it be cool if McDonald's was 100% vegan? Wouldn't it be awesome if Domino's was 100% vegan? Now I'll tell you what, in Australia, because of social media, because of me, bringing Domino's pizza, then Freddie's eating it, then she's showing it on YouTube, and then other girls are doing it, and then it starts to grow. And I used to ring up in 2012 and have to ring up Domino's and ask them what was vegan. And now they've got to update on their website. They update it every few months. And now in 2017, January, it's the best ever update as well. And there's be Domino's staff watching this video. And thank you for making this even easier to promote your product. And wouldn't it be great if all Domino's was vegan? And how's that going to happen? That could happen one day if everyone goes, I want to eat vegan pizza. I'm going to go to Domino's. And eventually they're like, fuck, there's more money here. And then McDonald's goes, hey, we want to have vegan burgers. Imagine they wouldn't be cool. So if we've got, and the corporation's not going to go anywhere. Your little local farmer's market, Whole Foods stuff. I mean, look at Whole Foods. Whole Foods is corporate as fuck now. So you start off as wild oats corporate. That's good and bad but it's good because it 7 billion people on the planet are not going to be fed from little local farmers markets what we need to do is start having vasectomies to reduce the global footprint of this fucking crazy earth but people aren't going to do that people are dumb people are like oh let's bread have more babies you know so I've got enough but let's have more 7 billion people on the planet 132 million orphans in 2017 let's think before we fuck adopt don't pop but anyway I digress the dominoes the green will come up in a sec I would love, give this video a like if you'd love to see Domino's worldwide have vegan options. Australia has Domino's have vegan options. Crust Pizza now do a vegan pizza. Wouldn't it be cool if McDonald's was totally vegan? How's it going to get there? By shopping at local farmer's market like no one wants to do? No, it's not going to happen, man. You have to change the system from the inside of the system. You can't, like, reinvent the wheel. You have to get the wheel, make it carbon fiber, check out a bit of metal here and there, make it stronger, lighter, cheaper, more affordable make it more mainstream and that's how you do it man you can't change the system just by stopping the system like it's not going to happen end of the day every dollar we spend is a vote for what we believe in if you're going to go to fast food giant or corporate shops good everyone does those who don't just fucking lie about it if you're going to go there spend your money and buy vegan products people say there's cross contamination man I can get a fucking local lettuce from a fucking local organic farmer and pay five bucks for it and pick it myself and it'll be cross-contamination. There'll be bugs and slugs in the fucking lettuce. All right? That's cross-contamination. There's animal product in my lettuce. The good thing about a pizza, if you see a bit of meat, you can flick it out. How often when you have a fresh pressed cold juice that you paid 20 bucks for, you can't cross, you can't prevent that from cross-contamination of bug slug meat. A dead slug is meat. It's meat. It's an animal. It's meat. So you're eating slug meat when you have your cold pressed juice and then you're critiquing someone who can flick a bit of meat off their pizza or flick a, lettuce off the whole, uh, uh, flick a few bugs off the whole lettuce. Bottom line, here's a video coming up, but think before you comment or think before you ha engage in debate with someone because otherwise you look like a dickhead or an idiot, an uninformed person who's just a social justice keyboard warrior typing something about thinking, I don't wear Nikes because they're made in sweatshops. I wear Reebok or New Balance or Asics. Every fucking thing is made in a sweatshop. Your phones, my phone, my computer, everything's made sweatshop. Cheap labor for the Western economy. 100% of us, we're all fucking hypocrites.